Hi, everybody. This is JJ Long from JJ Artworks, and welcome to episode 13 of our podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in. We really appreciate it. So in this week's episode, I actually want to talk about the art of feng shui, or the ability to practice feng shui in your uh, living situation. Um, and basically, it applies a lot to, like, I believe, like interior design. And basically, the art of feng shui is just organizing your um, like living situation, kind of like organizing your your uh, furniture and like objects in your living space to kind of project a different type of energy and flow state in your uh, living quarters. And you can do this like in your office space, you can do this in your living room, you can do it in the bathroom. And I, the reason I'm bringing it up today is because I just, uh, this past week, reorganized uh, my apartment a bit, rearranged it a little bit to kind of uh, be more effective for my business. And I also organized my apartment so it flows easier. Um, like I have like a way better flow of creativity now in my apartment. And I never realized it before until I just uh, reorganized my space this past week. And I tend to practice feng shui uh, just this past, uh, well, let me see. Um, I'd say over the past six months to like maybe eight months I've been practicing feng shui. And I really only try to do it when I go through like a milestone um, th thing in my life, a milestone situation. Um, so the, the last time I practiced feng shui before this, I was in a pretty serious relationship and we uh, broke up about seven months ago. And I felt like I just need to reorganize my uh, apartment a little bit just to kind of reflect, um, you know, new beginnings and I'm entering a new, um, just a, a new headspace, a new kind of uh, journey in my life. I just needed to kind of uh, put away the past and focus on the future and I completely reorganized my apartment and the feng shui just totally opened up. Like I, before my apartment really was kind of it wasn't separated in different um, categories of my life. It was like my office was a part of my living room and my living room was a part of my uh, my bedroom and the kitchen was also... So I guess maybe I should preface this by saying I have um, a studio apartment. <laughs> but it's, it's a nice size studio apartment. It's maybe like 750 square feet or something. So it's a decent size. And I live in a really nice art community in Lowell at the Appleton Mills. And it's just a really nice, it's like one of those old uh, mill buildings that has like the exposed brick and like the ductwork and like really high vaulted ceilings. And I absolutely love living here. Um, and I, I mean, I'm able to fit my sound booth in here, um, my whole entire office and uh, work area. It's pretty awesome. But um, yeah, the last time I practiced feng shui was when I got out of a serious relationship and I just needed to change something up a bit. And after I did that, I'm like, wow, this is like totally something that, you know, um, a lot of people um, have told me about, but I never really listened to it. But now that I've done it and I know what it feels like, I'm like, oh, I love feng shui. So I didn't really practice it until this past week, and I completely for forgot all about it. Um, but the reason why I'm bringing it up is because this past week uh, we launched the whole virtual paint party thing. And I was looking for, um, I needed to create like a new area in my apartment. So I needed to create like a shipping area, like a place where I could package together boxes and put like paints and brushes and canvases in a box and then, you know, package it all up, put the, um, you know, open the box, put all the supplies in there, tape it all up, uh, put the shipping label on there, and then have it ready to go for uh, the post office to pick up. And where I have kind of a lot of orders coming in now, which is awesome, thank God that this is working, um, where I have a lot of orders coming in, I just needed that space. So like I actually completely rearranged like where my easel used to be, uh, where all my painting supplies used to be, and I moved it to a different part of my apartment. I'll have to have to take a picture and post it on Facebook or Instagram or something. But um, 
so now I have like a shipping area in my apartment, which I know doesn't sound amazing because <laughs> I live here too, but I have it sectioned off. So it's like really, it's in the back of my apartment. So, you know, right when you walk in, I got like the kitchen area, then I have a living room, then I have my bedroom. Um, and then I got my, my sound booth and then you, you take a left and then all of a sudden you see my office area with my dry erase board and then you have, um, now you have the shipping area. So I love the shipping area, but I was like, how, you know, I need a place to paint. And I wasn't sure exactly where to paint. Um, and what I did was I moved my easel into the middle of the room. And I have like a really big, maybe 10 foot uh, circular uh, oriental rug that I absolutely love. And it was kind of being hidden by, um, I had a, a brown faux futon that was kind of sitting on top of it. And a lot of the design elements in the, in the carpet got hidden. But I decided to move the futon um, closer to where the shipping area is. And then I had this big round circular rug that it just, it just freed up some type of creative energy. I can't explain it. And I was also at the same time looking for an area in my apartment where I could actually work out because I'm trying to avoid uh, the gym right now because I don't want to catch any germs. I really, really need to be hyper-focused and, and stay as healthy as humanly possible. Um, so now that I have this open rug, I'm kind of like, now I have an area where I could like, you know, do burpees, I could do jumping jacks, I can do push-ups, I can do squats. Um, you know, I could use some light dumbbells. So it's like, not only do I have like this new creative space where I can paint, but I can also have a place where I can work out. So it kind of serves as two purposes. And at the same time, actually three purposes. Um, it's an area where I can actually film myself when I do these virtual paint parties, when we do live streaming on Zoom. So I was just really, really excited because you know, just you know, a two or three hour kind of like massive shift in you know changing furniture around and everything the feng shui in my apartment now is just such a fluid feeling and it just totally freed up some type of like bottled up energy and when i think about it my painting easel used to be all the way in the corner facing the wall and i it's so funny now that i think about this stuff but like like i was in a corner like nobody puts baby in a corner you know and my my easel was in the corner so like I felt like I was kind of cramped a little bit and I couldn't express myself like there was kind of like no breathing room over there but it was the only available space I had but now that I've kind of freed everything up and my easels right in the middle of the room I like I can see my surroundings I feel like I have more room to like you know paint and I can do bigger paintings and it just freed something up and then the same space I'm actually doing push-ups and everything and doing burpees I'm like this is great and then I'm like god I get to film here too this is awesome and oh man I got a shipping area over there now so like my whole entire apartment's way more efficient and it's just a, it's a great overall feeling. So th another reason I bring this up is because I feel like now is the perfect time to practice feng shui in your living situation because we're all quarantining, we're all kind of confined to the same area for an extended amount of time. So I would spend this time to like clean up, you know, like do some spring cleaning. I mean, it's the spring, so uh, do some spring cleaning, kind of like tidy up around the house at the very least, but also think about trying to restructure things and maybe place furniture in different places um, to kind of free up some, some, um, some energy, you know, try to dislodge some negative energy that's going on in your uh, living quarters and, and try to free it up. It's just such an amazing feeling and I tend to do it um, I mean, I, like I said, I haven't been doing this for a while, maybe like the past year or so, but <laughs> so far I tend to do it when there's like big milestone um, moments in my life. And I just feel like now with the, the whole coronavirus going around, this was the perfect time to do this for myself. And I actually, after doing this this past week, I just have like a newfound energy, which is so crazy. Um, so I highly recommend it. Definitely, definitely try that out if you can. I, I, I very, very highly recommend it. And, and I mean, that's basically all I want to talk about today, you guys. Um, I appreciate you tuning in. Thank you so much. I hope you're all staying safe and healthy out there. I know it's crazy. Um, I've been watching the news and supposedly the apex in our country is coming, you know, where we're going to experience the most fatalities and all that stuff. 
Um, but all I have to say is please do your part and stay home. Stay home, keep binging Netflix, keep, you know, watching movies, listening to, to music, do your arts and crafts, read a book. Uh, just try your try to take your mind off of things, but do the responsible, responsible thing and then don't go out into the public. Um, try to limit it as much as possible. I'm, I'm doing the best I can. I pretty much... I pretty much only leave just to go food shopping and I'm actually thinking about um, you know using a grocery delivery type service like Instacart I actually I've used them a handful of times they're pretty good um, so I'm thinking about going back to that and I, I've been ordering things off of Amazon like crazy like I'm sure the rest of you have um, so yeah just try to stay home as much as humanly possible I'm sure you're all doing the responsible thing but uh, let's get through the next two or three weeks and uh, really kind of drive this home so we flatten that curve. You know what I'm saying? But um, thank you again for all of you for tuning in. Um, if you haven't done so already, please uh, visit our official website at jjoutworks.com. That is a way that you can learn about our brand and all the services that we are for, offer, like our new virtual paint parties, which I feel like everyone in the country should do. Just throwing that out there. And then also, if you want to check out our Patreon page, that would be amazing. And you can, um, that's a way to support the podcast if you like what you hear. Um, so thank you so much for tuning in, everybody. And I look forward to talking to you guys in episode 14 next week. Stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you later.